Hey, welcome back. Okay, today we are building the Lego Friends Sports Center and this might be one of those sets that aren't really on your radar because the first thing that pops into your mind when you think, what does Hut Lake City need? A sports center? Zang! Maybe that might have been a little bit loud, but it's not, I, I don't know whether this is something that's going to be 100% the first thing that people would want to add to their collection, but you got to stick with me throughout this whole review because this is a pretty amazing set. It is fully fleshed out. It's got loads of play features, like an insane amount of play features, I would actually say. The detailing in it is really, really incredible, and I don't like sports. So for me to say that, it's got to be pretty good. So there are 832 pieces. It's $150 here in Australia, 95 in the US, which is the same price point as the new Wish Castle. So, but there are more than 200 pieces more in this. So just as a little bit of a comparison, you're not paying that extra Disney tax. So, well, actually, by the way, just I just realized I said I don't like sports. That's not that's not strictly true. I'm just not a sporty person. It's not. I'm not going to go and go no to sports. <laughs> don't do sports it's entirely wrong it's just for my preference I'm not a sporty kind of gal but this set is really great so here we go four different mini dolls they're in different bags but we're going to grab them all out so we can have a look at them at the beginning first up we've got Leo from the base from our new base eight of the Lego friends line he's got a brand new pants colory piece with blue and coral and on his top for his torso he's got the number one printed on the back so this is like a sport uniform team outfit thing. Can I demonstrate even further that I don't know much about sports? It's a sports team uniformy thing, everybody. <laughs> okay, but anyway, he looks so cute. I mean, he's Leo, of course he looks cute, but that is a really adorable little outfit for starters. Second up, so we get these two mini dolls quite early on in the build, and the next two that we're getting are, um, I'll show them, but they don't come to later. We've still got creepy ear feet going on. This one, this character is Ivana, who's the secondary character brand new for this set. She's on the opposite team to Leo, so she's got different team colors. She's got number two on the back. And I just love how their colors are complementary but different, and there's different patterning. Her face print is a brand new one we haven't, oh, it might be very, it's, it's brand new though for this. And her skin tone is medium tan. Interesting to note the different skin tones if you're trying to match different colors to, get, to grab different outfits too. So we've got these two. And we've also got two more for each, no, one more for each team. So two on each team. So same legs as we've seen for Leo, but with the light nougat color skin flesh tone. Top is actually the same style, but a different design. Number four on the back for this character, who is Hannah, who also has an insulin pump. <gasps> Look at that, printed on her arm, which if you blinked, you would miss it. It's so subtle. I love the fact that her, her, uh, her shirt is tied up a little knot in the front. And I also love the fact that invisible disabilities are being displayed in the Lego Friends line. Her face print is awesome. It's like this determined eyebrow cock kind of face. And her hair is the same as Leanne's, but in a different color. So in the tan color, looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, but wait, there is more. Not only does she have this determined face print but she also has an alternate expression just kick me it's so exciting <laughs> maybe don't kick me but pinch me that was the right term that was what I was looking for so she's got an alternate expression of um, either winning or losing or being astonished or something but it's so good look at this <gasps> alternate expressions but are you still waiting? Because this is not the only alternate expression we are getting in this set. Not only do we get two brand new mini dolls, but we also have two alternate expressions as well. So this is a brand new print as well. Oh, actually, no. So exactly same torso print, yeah, for the top and for the bottom. This is Nico, and he is number three. Uh, same skin tone as well as Ivana, so that's really handy. He's got his face that we've seen before in other in other sets. Also got the new hair piece that we've seen for him in the second half of this year, which is so cute because it's like the BTS hair. But just wait, let's just take a little moment to have a look at their outfits and take the cat hair off Nico's head. Sorry about that. The cat hair gets everywhere now, but he has got an alternate expression too. He's got, I love this so much. He's got a headband, like a sweatband, and he's either got sweat dripping down or tears and an unhappy face, or maybe he's just a concentrating face while he's sweating super hard. You can interpret this however you like, but this is like, he's 100% set up to be tennis champ. So fun. So we've got 
four characters, all in brand new prints, all the way through, two completely new secondary characters, and two alternate expressions. Oh my gosh! So yeah, this is a set, even if we, we haven't even started building yet, <laughs> And this is a set I couldn't find many places. Here in Australia, I could only get it on the Lego store or at Big W, actually. So I waited until Big W had a special before I could pick it up for a little bit less than RRP. So yeah, I don't know that all the shops are stocking it. So keep an eye out for it. It really is worth it. And yeah, we'll start building so I can show you how blown away I was by the whole thing. So we've got this interesting little thing here. It looks like it's got a basketball hoop and a couple of balls and a trophy stand. But that basketball hoop is actually not a basketball hoop. And this bit here that we're building looks like it should have like a hinged piece on it, but it's not. It's just, we're using pieces in unusual, in usual ways. These uh, yeah, so these demonstrate the two different teams. So rather than having the team names on the scoring board, we've got their, their colors and the prints of their uniforms. And these little round bits are the scoring board, the scoring biddly bit. Yep. So we get our tourney sections that we can then just, you know, put the right number to the front. So yeah, scoreboard. That was probably the quickest and easiest way to say that, but you know, you got, we got there in the end. So they can only score up to five, but that's fine. Short game's a quick, <laughs> quick game's a good game. That's it. Short game's a quick game. I don't even know where I was going. So this is the top scoreboard up here. And I'm trying to figure out whether the instructions kind of say that I should be having it no, I just, oh no, no, I've misinterpreted this. This is wrong. I've got to put this bit on and then that looks right. Okay. <laughs> this neon yellow ball is not actually, yeah, it's not actually a basketball hoop. That's actually to hold the ball in place. So that's the ball storage over there next to your scoreboard, which is really, really handy. Okay. So if you noticed on the back of the box, there was actually a little picture of a playing field and you can play three different sports on this one field that we are going to be building just with some very minor alterations. Like I said, the play features in this set are absolutely out of control. There, I don't know when I last built something that has so many different options of ways to play with it. It's so fun. So we've got a big green, the green playing field in the middle, nice and smooth so that things can move around, i.e. balls can move around nice and easily on it. Oh, and the players, of course, too. And pucks if there's hockey. So, yep, yeah, obviously we need a smooth court. That would be sensible. <laughs> or, or roller's getting rink. <gasps> imagine, okay, I'm, I'm overthinking things now. I can just imagine turning this into a roller skating rink. But first up, we've got these three, two little doobies that mean that you can you can manipulate the players around and they don't just go forwards and back they go from side to side so good we're making just everything nice and actually home team colors right so we've got leo's team colors leo and hannah's team colors as the actual pitch here we've got tennis rackets and a couple of goals on either side so the tennis rackets are stored away because at the moment they're playing soccer so we'll give this a go Go. You can only put two characters. Oh gosh. Okay, so Hannah scored. Score! Let's see. It's um quite hard to manipulate by yourself, but it'll be fun with someone else, I reckon. Or if I could actually... Oh, <laughs> that was an own goal, Leo. Well done, you. It was trying. He was trying. So not only can we play soccer in this, but if we just build this little net, guess what it's for with our little green tennis ball. Oh, it's for tennis. I already told you. So all we have to do now is store the soccer ball away safely because I'm notorious for having them roll away. I'm so glad there's a storage place for it. It's so cool. Okay, so we can give our we can give our peeps some tennis rackets and this tennis ball is okay, I don't know how <laughs> this is very hard with just one person trying to make this happen. It just kind of goes over and hits them in the head. Yeah, I'm not certain that either I'm not not convinced about this play feature. I don't know if it's just if I'm just doing it really, really poorly because I'm just one person or whether there's just not quite as fun as the others. But it's it's there. I love the fact that you've got a little tennis option. So we've got soccer, we've got tennis, and for our third option, yeah, you can tell now, now that we've got our little basketball hoop over here, and to... Oh, hold on, where were the basketballs? Oh, the basketballs are those little orange things. Okay, so the basketball is significantly smaller. Well, the basketballs are significantly smaller than the soccer ball, but the reason why is so that it can fit into the little projectile, into, into our trebuchet here. So if we pop it in there, let's have a go. Hannah's, Hannah's protecting the goal. I mean, it's really not gonna, or well, the hoop, what do you call it in sports for basketball? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> it's a hoop. Is it still a goal protecting it? Anyway, she doesn't need to because I'm really, really rubbish at this. But that was fun. And I think if I was just a little bit more room and practice and 600 years more experience, I'd be able to get that into the hoop. But that's so fun. Okay, so we have got our, we've got our playing field with the three different play options. Now we're moving on to the sports center. Like that little play field itself could have been a set all on its own. So this is like a, I don't know, is this like a circuit that you can be doing with a timer on it? So sports center circuit, or you can choose your different activities and pay for just doing those activities. I'm not certain what it means, but I really like the fact that we can see that we've got treadmills, we've got we have all sorts of fun things, the rings that we're gonna be building. On this one, we've got just a sticker of maybe just advertising the local soccer team, got a radio in the background for some tunes. And this is our, yeah, this is our front desk, the check-in desk. So on the computer, nice you can see what's happening out on the play field you can have booking calendar you've got a little timer on the side a little clock this sticker is so meaningful it's full of really really great things just so significant for the actual set couple of water bottles in very very pretty colors up here on the front counter because it's very important to stay hydrated and yeah this is really cute this full front section is so cute it's so detailed all right what else do we have here we've got a Thing. So this sticks through here. That's designed to spin. And on the outside, this is where the rings are. So this is kind of, yeah, this is, this is cool. So the little gymnastics rings on the outside where you can just go, wee! I told you the play features were fun. <laughs> I could do that all day, which really kind of just uh, gives you an indication of what my mental age is. But you should never stop having fun. You get boring when you stop having fun. We've got a little window at the front desk. Some really nice bright yellow happening here to really bling it all up. The color scheme on this so far is nice and fresh and bright, but not too eye ouchy. So that's good. Big double doors for the front. So this is good because it also means that it's going to be able to be accessed by our wheelchair, wheelchair Lego friends, Heart Lake City inhabitants as well, even though, you know, it's ground floor, so they'll be able to get into, they're not gonna need a ramp. All of these things are being taken into account when the designers are putting these sets together. All right, around the front door here, it's very modern design, which is nice. We've got outward facing studs to attach some sort of articulation -y thing I call it articulation like I don't know what it actually is something that adds texture and and depth and stuff this is the, this is it so this is a nice big built out door frame with really colorful stripes I love this color scheme I think it's really glorious <laughs> I really do okay so we've got our nice big entryway inviting everybody to come in and give sports a go <laughs> even I might do it who knows I won't I might this is a really appealing looking sports center and your water station your hydration station which is on a little jumpable off stud here and you can refill your water bottle here or you can just grab a little cup yeah nice all right we're up to the next bag and in this bag we have got poor old Nico using his face that uh the face of tears because I thought it might be nice for him to demonstrate the fact that we it's very important to have workplace health and safety on board we've got the injury set here little little first aid set that's it the the detailing this yeah the detailing in this the thoughtfulness of the details that have gone into this are incredible. It's, yeah, I'm blown away. It's fantastic. By the way, I forgot to mention that the base plate on this, the 16 by 32, is that it? Or is it 16 by 8? 16 by 8 coral plate is brand new in this color. So we finally got a coral plate, nice big coral plate to build on. And that rounded the over one is in coral is also new. On the little front windowsill, we've got another, oh, another water bottle and a phone out there. Tile section in here, water bottles everywhere, which is so good because staying hydrated is really important. Got some drops of water on the floor because Obviously, somebody's overhydrated the floor. The floor doesn't need to stay hydrated. And on that seat, we've got a nice big band-aid. So maybe that's where the first aid station is. Uh, it just kind of looks like a seat at the front door. So I'm not 100% sure, but maybe we, yeah, maybe we keep the first aid kit there. Okay, all right. So on this nice big panel, we've got a sticker, which is just full of advert. Oh, is that Stephanie's pennant in the background there? I think it is. The little nods to the OG, the OG girls are just adorable and so thoughtful. <laughs> Okay, and on this side we've got some tiling of some mini dolls playing soccer. This 
the bowl becomes the shower head, which is a nice ingenious use of the bowl. I would never have thought that. That's a nice big shower head. They're going to get some nice water pressure in there. I mean, the size of the shower head has nothing to do with the water pressure, but still, we're going to pretend it does. So we've got a shower. It's a nice little showering off room. On these panels, we've got some more stickers for for the for the for the rock climbing section. So we've got a rope, safety rope, harnesses. Got a sign up sheet with Ollie and. Leo and Leanne all signed up ready to go and I don't know what the little bit on the other side is with the numbers with the other little like rock climbing thingies because I don't know anything about rock climbing but obviously they've got rock climbing stuff next to them. So they're about rock climbing. These are the lockers and the lockers are quite detailed. So this one here is number one. This is Leo's. We got Leo and Leanne pictured down the bottom winning something. Number three was, who was number three? Number three was Nico. Oh yeah. So he's got a dirty sock hanging out of his locker. <laughs> and on this one here, we've got number four, which is Hannah. Hannah is number four, so she must be the rock climbing enthusiast particularly, which makes sense why she's got her little torso thing, um, her shirt all knotted up. And there's a postcard of mountains down there. Nice. And on this locker, which is number two, which belongs to Ivana, it's got just a little medal on it, which doesn't well, a little trophy, which doesn't really give us too indicate too much of an indication about her personality, but that's fine. In the lockers, in number one, which is Leo's, we got a cookie, got a red card and a yellow card. My gosh, he's got a collection of penalties and a a medal, which I'm a bit disappointed that this is the minifigure style medal because it is actually a mini doll shaped one. I know that this one kind of looks a little bit more regal, but. Eh. I don't know, I would have liked one that actually fits the mini dolls, but it does look okay, so really, it, it's fine. Okay, bubblegum up here in, in Ivana's, and oh, she's here taking pictures too, so she's got, a, she's got her camera, got some chocolate and a pink cap in number three in Nico's, and in Hannah's, Hannah's, she's got... She's got a, a helmet for rock climbing. Okay, on the back, gosh, there's so much, there is so much to see in this. So I just don't want to miss any of the details. It's so cool. On the back of the lockers, we have got some, uh, don't know, don't know. We've got this sticker, which I'm confused as to what it is, because it's like a white, like a big, like it's graffiti kind of, but it's metallic-y. And you've got, so you got a little heart and a little swirl. Oh, it's all so clear. Okay, so it's a brush and a hairdryer. So it's the mirror. The mirror is all, I forgot to put the little tuft of hair on the hairdryer. That's such a cool way to build a hairdryer. And there's such cool ways to store the hairdryer and the brush. So many cool things happening in here. So this is when you come out of the shower. So there's a little bath area. Like, yeah, the, the bathroom area. You've got the, the, the mirror is all steamed up and you've got the hairdryer and you've got a brush. Oh my gosh, and yeah, you can swing the lockers out so that you can actually access that whole area. I love this so much. The design is really, really smart. Okay, all right, so <laughs> let's continue on here. We've got hooks here for a couple of hockey sticks. Okay, because you could do hockey because you've got the goals right. All we need is a little puck, and for that you just need a little, like a little round. You've probably got one of them left over. Yeah, you could use any of these things as pucks. You could use the spare cookie as a puck if you want for hockey. Wow, so many options. I'm blown away. Now, bag number four is the bag that Hannah comes in. And Hannah's got, ha Hannah, Hannah's got the insulin pump on her arm. Her iPhone is also a brand new print specifically created for her character because the app on it is testing her blood sugar. So the, she's got the insulin pump on her arm. Oh my gosh, I, I just love this because when you're exercising, if you if you're diabetic, you really do need to keep an eye on your blood sugar levels too, because they can they can change so rapidly. Okay, all right, this, this just blown me away. The detail for that is so good. By the way, when I looked up the Hannah character on Bricklink, I just wanted to mention this. If you're looking for a diabetic character, she doesn't have that as her descriptor. If you're trying to buy the the doll just on the secondhand market, so you need. To, I really would like them to put that on the actual descriptor that she has got the insulin pump on her arm and that her smartphone actually has the blood sugar testing, like glucose testing thing, because people are gonna be looking for that specifically, I think. I mean, that's got nothing to do with the Lego company, but I just, I found that an interesting omission in the description. All right, so we have moved on to the little see-through roundy section because this is gonna be a climbing wall, a rotating climbing wall, which is so 
incredibly cool that they just have this bit off to the side. It, it could have entirely been left off and this whole thing would have just been a very blocky structure. By the way, this just looks like a nice handhold. Like you could hold this in your hands like a skipping rope handle without all the hard bits on now. So now we've got all the handholds for the actual climbing wall. Less comfortable to actually put it in your hand. So let's pop this onto the turny bit. We've got the rope bit around it where you can attach the mini doll wherever you want. And at all sorts of different angles. So the fact that their hands don't turn isn't going to matter so much here because you can put them on in different places, different angles, and you can turn them around from the little tiny bit at the top. Let's put a helmet on because, you know, safety first. Safety is important. All right, let's get her near the top. <laughs> so it's so awesome. It looks great. And the colors on it are so vibrant and really, really appealing. And actually the combo of colors, I find this very interesting, actually make the vibrant coral look creamy. I don't know quite how that works, but they really, it looks really very, very, very appetizing to me. That seems wrong. These are a couple of trophies. Really interesting little build for the one with the silver ball on the top and the gold panel on the front where you would, you know, the little plaque bit. So a couple of trophies on top of the locker room. This is what we have at the end of that bag. We're up to bag number five and we've got a whole second level to do. Now, this is the bag that Nico comes in. So let's just swap his face out just to give him a little bit of variety. Can't be unhappy all the time. It could be. He might just be a very morose young man. <laughs> I don't know. But let's give him some options, hey? Options are cool. Okay, next level. We're not done yet, you know. There is so much you would think, yeah, we've done so much already. The next level actually has a whole heap of workout equipment. And these builds themselves are actually very interesting in and of themselves. There's so much to see in this set. <laughs> like I said, blown away. Okay. All right, so we're getting the walls and the windows on. Love the nice, big, bright, airy windows. It's very important to be able to have natural light come in. It just helps with helps with your mood, especially when you're working out. It's a bit depressing working out in a dark, dank little area. So this is just really appealing. Got our beautiful front entryway all done. Now, inside, we've got a box with some a bandage. So maybe we do need to put the sad Nico face back on. Oh, so he's got a bandage. Oh, so maybe that this is the first, this is the first aid room up here. So this is a, oh, not a first, oh, I'm such a dill. Okay, so not a first aid room. This is, this is the punching bag, the boxing, so boxing bag. So he's wrapping his hands so that he can't get this one out. Uh, so that he can, yeah, so he can punch the bags. Ah, uh, there we go. That makes a little bit more sense. So we got a boxing bag up here. <laughs> okay, he's still unhappy because I'm making him continue to work out when he was done for the day. Push past, Nico, push past. We've got some weights as well. So you got the punching bag, you got a weights room, and in the middle and the side section, we get two workout, workout uh, machines. So this one, really, really cool, interesting little build for a treadmill. So you've got the rollers here. This bit goes on the other side. It's really nice and low profile, like it's not very big. I love the sticker on it because this is like, this is those fancy style, <laughs> fancy style treadmills that have got the person on them and the whole scenery that you can look at while you're busy working out rather than just the numbers telling you how exhausted you are and how you really haven't gone far enough to actually warrant your time on the treadmill today, or is that just me? Okay, and so we've tried, we popped Ivana on that. She can hold on to the handlebars, which is really fantastic. I don't know what we're doing here. We've got a little, little teal colored heart. And on this, which is a separate build, this is so funky. We've got another, got a, we've got another little display screen. So you are going through the trees along the road. So this is your cycling machine. This is a much fancier. Oh, so that's the seat. Oh my gosh. All right, Hannah's hair keeps falling out of the locker. Ah, uh, you can't keep good hair down. So this is going in the corner here and then facing sideways. Look at that. And then they just kind of perch on the seat because their feet are attached to the studs. And he could probably hold those little handlebars. No, maybe not. So he's just going to have to have the idea of I mean, he definitely looks as though he's working out on that exercise bike. That is such a cool build. All right. Wow, so much exercise equipment. I don't think I've ever built so much exercise equipment in my life. I'm trying to think back to the previous sports center and what was in it. There was definitely a, some rings and a punching bag. Maybe was there a punching bag? And there was a treadmill and gymnastics area too, I think. So this is just so much more fully fleshed out than the previous one we had. Okay, now all we have left to do now is the big beautiful sign on the top and oh my goodness if you saw the picture of it on the front of the box it is just a, it's a standout so this is like 
art. We're building art right now. So we've got green and white curves going around here, making a nice big wave up and around, up and around in this direction, and then around this corner. Look at this go! This is so, I mean, this is so unnecessary and yet amazing because it just adds so much to the overall facade of the building. So we've got two different bulls on here on the front and then this goes on the back and then we attach this onto the blue and white rounded bit that we've got. And then we've got one more big printed piece with an enormous soccer ball on it, or basketball. No, hold on, soccer ball, soccer ball. It's a soccer ball, because the middle one's a basketball. <laughs> Got it, see, I know sports. <laughs> okay, so this goes on the top. You can detach it nice and easily so you can access that area, but it's really nice and easy to get into that top level anyway. And we're not quite done yet because we just get a nice token tree just to soften up the front facade of the building. And I just love this. I think it's exactly the same tree build as in the supermarket. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't, go and check but they're very very similar uh, in design which is nice you know you'd have the same sort of trees around in Heart Lake City and doesn't look so it just looks nice here so yeah front entryway got a little tree on one side the other side you got a little seating section and there's an empty stud over there where you can just put your water bottle when you're watching sports and stuff and on the inside so many things like all of the things Okay, all right, so we have reached the end. You've seen now all of the everything in its detail. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Was this a set that you had didn't like, you hadn't even thought that might be interesting? And has this, now seeing it in all of its glory, changed your mind? I know it's an expensive set. I hope that you can pick it up on sale somewhere because I really, really think that it is worth it. I have not built a set with so many fun features in it for such a long time. It really has blown me away. <laughs> All right, I might even give sports a go after having built this set. I won't. Okay, I'll see you again with another video soon. Bye.